Liam Gillick said... Contemporary art is not like other art movements, such as realism, impressionism, cubism, or abstract expressionism, where there is a dominant prevailing style. Contemporary art is open to all possibilities, and much of the time is functioning in a manner opposite to that suggested by Gillick. Investor, be smart. Buy cloaca shit now. There is an extensive range of contemporary art that is produced in response to the institution's issues and conditions of contemporary life, particularly when viewed in the context of globalisation. In this respect, contemporary art certainly does account for that which is taking place. In Gillick's defence, an artist such as Jeff Wall has an art historical interest and composes photographic images that reference historical paintings, or study areas of investigation such as the performance versus the absorption of characters in his composition. And of course, there are artists whose work directly investigates issues of globalisation and is addressed in a work such as Yukonori Yanagi's Ant Farm. The intention was that the ants would mix the colours as they tunnelled, blurring the identity of each nation as they did so. Perhaps even more significantly though, all the ants died from the toxic soil. World Airport by Thomas Hirschborn highlights the connectivity of the world. Apart from connecting the airplanes, the umbilical cables are also connected to items representing instances of unrest, highlighting the links between third world production and first world consumption. The global production divide is part of that which is taking place. And this issue is also addressed by the outsourcing of labour in such works as Sunflower Seeds by Ai Weiwei. These form a mountain of paradoxes, but importantly, in the context of globalisation, each seed was individually hand-shaped and painted by a community of paid craftsmen, or for the love of God, which was outsourced to a firm of royally appointed jewellers. Is it kind of held together? I see. It is, but it's just pins and glues, so be careful. So don't go throwing it around. I love it. Cement truck by Wim Delvoy. This was made in the style of Dutch woodcarvers, but by Indonesian craftsmen. The skills were no longer readily available in Holland. And it's not just the global production divide. Body image, selfies, tattoos and piercings, advertising and media-driven expectation. The body is a subject of great interest in contemporary times. And it's on our minds more than ever. But back to Wim. In 2008, I was sold to a German art collection, and now I'm regularly exhibited, and I, when I'm invited by Vim, I come by, I take off my clothes, and I do what I do. He creates more than sculpture. He likes to investigate the body with tattooing, and even humour, or horror, depending on your perspective. Matthew Barney explores physical bodily restrictions in his art making. But, as well as being a medium of aesthetic inquiry, endurance and limitation, the body is used as a signifier of lived experience, such as Tracy Emmons' My Bed, which is like a fingerprint or body print of her lifestyle. The body is also a primary area of investigation in the politics of identity and belonging. Zeng Huan highlights issues such as difficulties of life in China, American power, or deep ponderings on reality and our relationship with the universe. Regardless of the varying themes, these works all account for that which is taking place. And public space is an issue, with the messages of multinational corporations and multitudes of businesses yelling from every street corner, on transport and even into your private spaces. Artists such as Banksy travel the world and beautify public spaces, challenging the visual dominance of corporate culture, as well as highlighting issues of public concern. This accounts for that which is taking place. And finally, concern for the environment accounts for what is happening. As an artist, connection is very important to me. Through my work, I'm trying to articulate that humans are not separate from nature, and that everything is interconnected. I first went to Antarctica almost 10 years ago where I saw my first icebergs. I was in awe. 
I approached photographing these icebergs as if I'm making portraits of my ancestors, knowing that in these individual moments, they exist in that way and will never exist that way again. These few examples are just the tip of the contemporary art iceberg and leave Liam Gillick somewhat out in the cold.